Hello everybody, welcome back, Fumbler here. And yeah, today maybe you notice a bit of different lighting. I'm actually picking through the day because my children are out of the house and they can walk around and I'm still a bit positive on Corona. So I thought I would at least use the situation and make the best of it and make a nice video on this lovely, lovely padlock I just received the other day. Um, it has a... As a 600 core, six pin lock, and it's full with gins. And recently I did a video on the SS 600 and it was really a breakthrough that I got this challenging lock open and now <laughs> it's in a lock body. And yeah, I also did a mistake and asked the seller for a challenging bidding. And yeah, he delivered. It's really nice ups and downs, really challenging. The keyway is a bit different than to the other 600 so i thought yeah let's share this nice lock as well it works nicely it has this closed shackle and it slides out to the side yeah oh yeah it's key retaining but yeah it doesn't matter really for picking right so what i will be trying is again float picking I will insert two tension wrenches, one here and one here with these nice tensioners for multi-pick and then you have really good core control and I will do it in a vise because in hand I don't know. <laughs> I saw Rain do it but it's... I don't know how he does it. Um, and then I will use a, a thin ten pick from multi-pick, the Vero 7 here and access the pins from here and pick from this ledge and even with this challenging bidding i don't have any problems of oversetting i can pick each pin individually so i'll do a quick cut here and meet you back in the vise because maybe i will need more than one take on this because yeah it just it just is really really difficult for me to get tension right and not drop the gins all the time. Okay, then see you back in the vise in a moment. So here we are back in the vise. Works nicely. I will not pop the shackle because it's yeah, it's just interfering with the vise. I will show you hopefully in a moment. Um let's get the tensioners in. And let's get picking. And with all 600s, you just start by putting them all pins in the into the milling, the gin gin heads. And this goes sometimes quicker, sometimes not so quick. Let's see. But at this point, you're just picking a pin tumbler lock. Basically, with standard pins. Okay. Now we have a good movement on the core, and now I'm in the fourth set. So all gins should be in the milling. And I don't have the binding order perfected yet on this lock. So I just start from the front. And I either bounce on the pins. Or I scrub on the pins, whatever works better. With the long pins, it's sometimes better to just scrub on them. I think this one was already a cheer. Okay, one and two are set now. Now on three. dropped something but I think I got three set let's keep progressing in the lock on four here okay got it on five got it and six 
Okay, let's start from the front. One is up, of course. Let's put him back down again. Should be okay, I think. Not sure. Yeah, should be okay. Well, actually, no. Let's try again. It's too springy to be okay. Yeah, I leave it. Two feels okay. Three maybe dropped. Two dropped for sure. One is up. Okay, four is up. Five. Six. Let's start from the front. And six. All the others felt good and we open. Very cool. Okay. Open. And now in order to get this, we need to insert a shim somewhere here. And shim is a little bit worn out, but it will work. You have to insert it actually not here, but yeah, there's a pin shooting into that groove from below. So this is what you have to prevent. So I insert the shim, shim on the side where you have space and then I turn the whole thing. Hopefully. Okay, now it should, yeah, we can get the shackle out. And now you have to pop this plastic cover maybe from here. Oh, let's use a thicker one. I think it will go flying maybe. Oh, got it. Uh, let's get the pinning tray from John again. Okay, screwdriver. <clears throat> so use a Phillips head screw inside. head screw yeah now there's just one ball bearing left this is actually working with this attenuator here and it it goes here to uh, release or block the shackle okay let's put that here and here's just some I don't know some plate which limits the rotation of the of the plug and you can also turn it around then you open counterclockwise I learned I think now we have to remove these two screws here 
was really nice to get actually. Okay, yeah, we picked. I will lock it back up and it's easier. Okay, this plate comes off. And now when we enter the key, we can just pull the whole plug. So, a bit careful now. So, when starting I used to shim, but I've got it before and so it should work out like this, hopefully. Yeah. Put the core here. And yeah, nice flush, and yeah, you go all the pins go down, and I just show you. I pick can really pick all individuals, and <coughs> here you see the counter milling. In every chamber on both sides. So this really grabs onto the gins, but let's get those out. Just Did you see it was rightly orientated? So, gin in chamber one. Maybe I can show you gin actually, if you haven't seen one before. So, the slip on the gin really nicely grabs into that counter milling, really effective. You don't get any counter rotation from that and the lock is still quite new i got it from an ebay seller and i think he said he bought them in 1995 or so so he's hoping for gins and not barrels and yeah yeah delivered really cool let's get one more out from the front Okay. And yeah, he said he bought it in 1995 and it was still in, in basically mint condition. So really cool. Really happy to have this in my collection. And yeah, he didn't gifted to me it was not super cheap but still reasonable priced for such a cool lock yeah just really happy to have it So the longest key pin in, in two has a really short driver, but still, yeah. I've seen people holding the core completely with just the gin in the milling. Oh, I can't do it right now, but. I can almost let go, but I don't want to have keep it all over the place, so I don't risk it. So, still get the key pins out. They're all standard. And yeah. 
Oh, let me quickly arrange two that turned for you. So. In the pins of this very lovely padlock from Asa Aruko. All key pins are standard and all drivers are jeans in various lengths matching the key pins. Yeah, really challenging lock. I'm super glad I got it in camera. And also, the, the bitting was really tough on this one, but still manageable so anyhow thank you very much for watching stopping by feel free to leave a comment please subscribe really helps me out and yeah hope to see you in the next video have a great day bye